Hi, could I get uh, two uh, fish and chips, please? Oh my God, I've eat fast. never seen that before. <laughs> on a... Are you dipping your fry in there? Yeah, it's good. That's gross. Hi, do you guys still have the French toast sandwiches? We do. Look at the size of that toast on that side, and then look at that. I'm like, what is that? Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic and Paul food review just for you. How's it going, Paul? Good. Long time no see? Yes. Love the, <laughs> love the glasses, by the way. Uh, Paul and I are going for a bike ride uh, this afternoon, but we wanted to fuel up, and a lot of people have been asking, hey, Ken, I, there's another lane I was here. Say, yeah, going this lane. Uh, Ken and Paul, McDonald's apparently has fish and chips. And I don't think I've ever had fish and chips at McDonald's. And I don't think, like, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, filet of fish. I think the, I've had it once in my life. I think I've had it twice. And the first time I had it, I didn't like it. The second time I had it, I'm like, eh, it's all right. It's just not something I want to buy when I go to McDonald's. When I go to McDonald's, I want a burger yeah, or a chicken or something, I'm right? Fair. Is that the fish and chips? Yeah. Is it? Well, it's, it was rotating through the, the advertisement. I was going to say, that looks like an Oreo drink. It is an Oreo drink. But with I fish in it. Prior to that, it was the fish and chips. Can I get the Oreo drink with a fish filet and, fish inside? I would love please. the filet of the fish McFlurry. Blended deliciousness. Oh, dang, there it is. Oh, there Made it is. with 100% uh, Atlantic, Atlantic Haddock. Interesting. So we're going to each get a, a, a meal, I'm sure. Do you want a meal or? Yeah, is it? Uh, I, I want the whole meal. Yeah, might I'm, as well. I'm, we're both hungry. Oh, they just flash it, it changed. Now I can't see. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's crazy busy here. There, filet of fish Good afternoon. I'm up today. Hi, could I get uh, two uh, fish and chips, please? Meals. Okay, and to drink? Uh, I'm going to do a Coke. What do you want? Uh, milk for okay. me. And a milk. Uh, of course, anything else? Uh, that's it, thank you. It's going to be 1963. Don't have it again. Thank you. I like the ones that are this way now. I think they, they uh, it's just the, the new ten dollar bill got an award like for like the sexiest ten dollar bill sexi on like, planet Earth. That's the but old one. I don't think I have. But one. it's the old plastic one. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. So this is the new ten. No, it's a newer one. Oh, are you serious? So that's is there, the there's, front. There's two like that. There's that's two that, the back. There's yeah. I didn't know there was two. I only saw this one. I think. Hello. Hello, how are you guys today? All good, right, how are, how are you? you doing? I'm good, thank you. Fish and chips. Where yeah, you tell them. them. All right. <laughs> I have time for chit chat and then I have time for work. There you go. Thank, thank you. you. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye now. All right. Let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Paul, you have the honors. I got the magical steering wheel tray. So, like we said, it came to. Uh, so I guess the, the 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 fish and chips are probably like seven twenty five, seven thirty, but they charge an extra. Oh, yeah, milk, yeah, milk's different. Yeah. Dollar, yeah, dollar for the coke and the dollar seventy nine for the. So milk. So seventy nine cents more for the milk. Not a big deal. And then you have a Let's secret. Move on. Must use by twelve twenty six p.m. Oh my god! I've eat fast. never seen that before. On a, <laughs> usually you look, it says last forever. It's forever. It <laughs> lasts forever. Ooh. Oh, when was, oh. <laughs> was the last time you saw something like Just that? Just watch, that doesn't expire on you. <laughs> <laughs> smells like fish and chips yeah. in here, for sure. It smells like a fish and chip shop. Oh. Looks like a normal poutine fry type box. And it says, mmm. And it's, there's a lot of M's on it. A lot of M's on it. Or W's. Or, yeah, depending on which or way you look at it, I guess. Threes. Oh. All right. Well, it's not a filet. Oh, it's not. It's not a filet of fish. It's a fish stick, Billy. <laughs> it's a fish stick. <laughs> the only thing I gotta do is take out his tooth. I gotta take out my teeth. Still recovering. Oh. <laughs> All right. This Friday, I go for dental surgery again. Again. So they they Paul went for dental surgery. It was the they, worst day of my life. They cut him open. And they couldn't find the implant plug. I guess. Yeah. I what guess do they call it? Yeah. Poster so, plug or whatever is in there. Yeah, so they're actually going to screw a tooth in, but they have to put the implant in first. She it was, all she saw was bone, and she was picking, like trying oh. to jam something in there. And the freezing came off, and I was I almost broke the headrest <laughs> on the thing. And your uh, ass wasn't touching the seat. I was seat, just like, she's arc. like, I think the freezing's off. I'm like, what happens after an hour of yeah poking in someone's mouth? And then Jeez. she just pulled the gum back, restitched it up, and then says, well, let the surgeon. Re-pulled the gum back. Those are the things you don't want to hear. No, in any, wasn't, any I wasn't situation. Not, I wasn't happy. All right, guys, I'm gonna break this just to see how light and fluffy it is. 
Oh, what do you think, Paul? I'm going to talk to mine. <laughs> it looks light and fluffy. It's all flaky like a, a fish should be. It's not like processed, right? You know what I mean? Like all no, mucked up and yes. formed. So I'm going to bite it without the stuff first. Oh. Well, you got one here. Bite it without. Got a little bit of a crunch to it, but soft on the fish, but the crunchy outside. It's a nice piece of haddock. I'm going to try it with the dip now. The tartar sauce is nice. Tartar sauce is usually just like mayo and um, pickles, pickles right? Or would you just use relish? Would somebody well, use a relish or pickles? A lot of fast food just mix their condiments. So relish and mayonnaise. Other places would dice in like dill pickle, mm. onion, it does taste capers. Like a bit of dill. It's not bad. There's something tinny about the, the fish. Like the batter? Yeah, different. But when I think of fish and chips, I think of traditional like English. Like a big soccer. Yeah. So going out for fish and chips, I like I wouldn't seeing on the menu at McDonald's, that's not the kind of thing I'd be like, oh my god, I feel like fish and chips. I would yeah. want fish and chips, I go to a nice fish and chip place. So I guess I'm just curious as to how like how long they've had this on the menu. And as it when you when you first when you first mentioned this thing, they probably took the filet of fish. That's what I thought instantly. See when I have fish and chips. Oh, I love fish and chips. I like the malt vinegar mm. on it. I like to squeeze fresh lemon on it. Oh yeah. I was used to those those kind of things. And of course usually the fish and chips you have those big chunky fries too. Are you dipping your fry in there? Yeah it's good. That's gross. Oh it's good. That's so wrong. Of course McDonald's French fries are Probably the number and one French fries in the world. I could probably eat a French fry just sucking it through my gap through. there. <laughs> what did you think, buddy? It was. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't like I said. If I'm if I'm thinking fish and chips, I'd like a traditional go to ice fish and chips place and have my my malt vinegar and my lemon. Yeah. And uh, um, I mean tartar sauce. For, it's it's actually pretty good. Well, there's a bonus McDonald's. Your tartar sauce is good. If they actually did put a little piece of lemon in there, I'd recommend it. Like I, like Paul said, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I have some issues with my own taste buds and certain deep fried things. So uh, I guess I would recommend it, but I personally would never buy it again. Thanks McDonald's for bringing it out. It was kind of cool to have fish and chips at McDonald's. Never had that before. True. And I just came back from Orlando and I had pizza. Ling On a stick. Linguini. <laughs> And um, a Philly cheesesteak from McDonald's. And what? It's the, the largest McDonald's in the world. Hmm. And it got some pretty cool things on the menu. How about we hop over to Tim Hortons and check out that French toast sandwich? French toast sandwich. You ready? Sure. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it over to Tim Hortons. I'm hoping that it's still on there. Hi right there, how can I help you? Hi, do you guys still have the French toast sandwiches? We do. All right, could I get, uh, uh, we'll get two. Sure, what ones would you like? Bacon, sausage, or just egg? So one bacon, one sausage, okay. uh, French toast thingy. Yep, anything else? That's it, thanks. Okay, 9.92. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. All right, 9.92. Oh, Paul's got this one. Nice. Nine. We're gonna rock down to so Electric Avenue. This is one of the Tim Hortons where you can drive around at either side. 9.92, please. Thank you. Which is kind of neat. It's good in this situation. I almost threw my teeth out, my tooth out. <laughs> I wrapped it in a napkin. 1010 is your change. Thank Second you. For your Good thing we didn't throw it in the garbage. We'd be going back oh, and going, going through a garbage can for to my get, tooth to get Paul's tooth back. Jeez. Which I only need. What's today? Today's Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? You'd need it for. Well, today it's Friday. Is I go Wednesday, for my yeah. surgery. So oh, I, right. I, I got two more days to get through. And then you can toss it. And then. Or oh. should you keep it just in case you get hit by a car again? You never know. <laughs> I wish I was hit by only a car. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what's happening in here. We're gonna leave our sure which is leave our seat. I'm gonna grab the bacon one. Oh, so you're gonna have the sausage. It's hot. Yeah, I I prefer. This is very hot. I prefer the sausage over the bacon any time of the week. My sister uh, has had this twice now, and she loves it. So oh, yeah? it's uh, French toast. Oh, it doesn't look like French toast. 
Mine looks like someone stepped on it. <laughs> <laughs> someone stepped on it with Converse shit. <laughs> That's okay, a, that's a, that's your French toast. It's just a small. It is. A, I got shrunken. the smallest piece of French toast in the history of the world. You oh, got the it, reject. It is so hot. It is hot. Oh, I'm right. down. So in my brain, look at the size of that toast on that side, and then look at that. I'm like, what is that? How could that be French oh, toast? Oh, it's hot. It is brutal look. hot. They were just. Oh, they just nuked it. This we, is hot. We, yeah, it's, it's got, burning my leg. So I've got like the really small. Yeah, look at the other side. Look oh. at that cheese. Oh, I think if we take it apart for a little bit, then uh, maybe cool down. It will cool down. So that's usually French toast is cooked on both sides. So the way I always done French toast is yeah. So this dip the whole thing in eggs, yes, fry then, it, and then fry it. it. Paul's going in. He doesn't care about. Oh. He doesn't care about third degree burns. It smells amazing. Scratch it. Sniff it. Sniff it. The rest is ours. That's funny. This side doesn't have any grill marks. This side's almost burnt, but it's acceptable. Is yours overcooked too? No, I guess that's fine. I'm the same as yours. It's but I'd, I'd never grill my... I don't know why they put grill marks on it. Like if I cook French toast, hmm. there's no grill marks on it. This is not bad, but I think I'd prefer the um, their biscuit over this even though it's, it's it's got your sweet and savory combination going on i would just never put cheese on in the french mix toast? maybe on my french toast i, th I think i'd eliminate the cheese what's funny is Any when you first feedback? open the bag it smells sweet but when you're eating it it doesn't it's not as sweet it's as not it smells sweet, is it? yeah i agree i feel funny how one's fluffy and the other side's not. <laughs> now, if I was to compare this to the McGriddle, I don't know. It, it tastes like the McGriddle. Do I have a McGriddle? What do we have in the States when we went to... Uh... So it's the McGriddle. It's like it's the two two uh, mm. pancake patties that are, that are injected with syrup or whatever, and then you have all the ingredients of a sandwich. I think, I think the best thing about the McGriddle is the fact that they use a whole egg, I believe. Like, uh, Tim Hortons uses, um, what do they call it, egg, egg patties. So it's just a mixture of eggs. So it's like... Um, you know what, that day I think I did the big breakfast. I didn't do the uh, McGriddle. Oh, okay. But you've had a McGriddle, I think, at least once, kind of. But somehow. I'd like to do this again without the cheese. I like the cheese. Yeah? I guess I should have done a comparison compare this one to the one I found on the internet I bet the internet one looks better do you think the internet one looks better I bet it does I haven't even seen it but I I'm gonna say put it right definitely. here I'm gonna put it right here and I'm thinking the picture in the internet is gonna be I'm gonna eat the internet one with my tooth missing <laughs> <laughs> it's good once again it's a it's a recommend if anybody would said oh how was it it was fine would I order it again throw my tooth out I'd rather have their biscuit sandwich again than this. But when it, for a while at McDonald's, I loved their um, the McGriddle. The egg and muffin? Yeah, but it's so, like, it's so many calories. This is probably a, a lot of calories, too. I'd say it probably is, yeah. And again, the, the best thing at McDonald's is the egg McMuffin, so, and it's probably the healthiest thing at McDonald's, too. So, anyway, Paul, thanks for being in this video. Thank you. Uh, guys, let us know in the comments below if you've try this or the McDonald's uh, fish and chips and let us know what you think because it's all we about both we're going to cycle an extra 10 kilometers just for you we have to burn at least a thousand cal calories <laughs> on our bike ride and then drink a lot of beer that's gonna be a long bike ride <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell you thing and uh, give it a like <laughs> ding 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 and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, Paul, for being in the video. Thank you. So, see ding, you ding, ding. See you guys later. Bye.